Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today's video is a compilation video. I wanted to put together my favorite DIYs for 2022. So I chose 22 of them to bring to you. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. For the first project, I'm taking one of the candle holders from the Dollar Tree, as well as one of the wooden sleds from last year, and some of this caulking. So I'm just going to spread the caulking throughout the inside of this candle holder. I believe it's a candle, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a candle holder. <laughs> and I just bring it up the side as much as I can and let it sit while I work on the sled. So I take some of the Waverly antique wax and I am doing just the like the seat part. I guess it would be like the seat part, right? And then the little part on the front, I believe. Nope, I, I lied, just the seat part. <laughs> Everything else I'm painting with the white Waverly chalk paint. Then I'm just gonna sit it inside of this candle holder. Now, originally I decided I was going to try to fill the whole thing with caulking, but that was gonna take way too much. So I took one of those fuzzy cloths from the automotive section and I just cut some pieces out and filled most of the candle holder with that. And then I topped it off with the caulking. And then once I filled the top of the candle holder i'm just going over the sled and kind of making like little drip marks so that it looks like it was snowed on i guess <laughs> that was my thought process anyways and i think overall this came out super adorable which is why it's one of my top favorites for 2022 so i'm just smearing like the top part because I don't want it to look like frosting like picky you know what I mean <laughs> I just wanted it to be a little smoother so anyway that was what I was doing there then I take some of that diamond dust that I use all the time from Michaels I absolutely love it it's so sparkly and just brings everything to life I love it so I'm using that to um, just make it look snowier and shinier. <laughs> okay, so now that that's done, oh, I have my little ladybug vacuum. I love this thing. I've had it for quite a while now, and I love it. So now what am I doing? I don't know. What I'm, oh, so I just threaded the um the jute back into the sled um and then i'm taking some of those small wooden um snowflakes from the dollar tree i painted them with the white waverly chalk paint and i'm just hot gluing them on to the sled then I used my Cricut and I cut out the words, let it snow, and I am just going to add that to the candle jar. And I think, oh, I had some snowflakes on it. That's right. So I am just adding those um, all around the um, candle holder as well. And that's it for this one. Look how stinking adorable it is. Oh my goodness. I love this piece so, so much. Even now, one year later, still loving it. Let me know what you guys think. 
So for this next one, I found this welcome sign. It was from Hobby Lobby and I found it at the Goodwill. It was like $5, I think. Um, so I took the moss chalk paint from Waverly and I went and painted the word welcome. Then I took my celery chalk paint from Waverly and did all around the edge. Then I got this tray from the Target dollar spot and I'm just gonna take the legs off because I don't need them. And then I'm taking my white Waverly chalk paint and doing a very light dry brushing over the tray and then over this welcome sign as well. Then I'm gonna take some wood glue as well as some hot glue and I am going to a hot glue or I'm gonna glue <laughs> the welcome sign right to this tray. Then I got this um, like burlap ribbon from Michaels last year. It was on clearance for 90% off and you better believe I grabbed a bunch of them. <laughs> So I'm just taking it and I am making a couple of loops and I hot glue the ends together and then I'm going to stack them and take a little bit of jute and I'm going to pinch it in the center, wrap it around and tie a knot in the back. And then all of you know me. I take another piece of the ribbon and I fold it in thirds and cover the center where the jute is. Sometimes I don't, but 99% of the time I cover the jute because I just, I don't know, think it looks better. It looks more finished that way. Just my opinion. So I'm going to fluff out my bow and then I'm going to hot glue it and I believe I do it to the top part. <laughs> and again, it's been a while so, oh, I guess I decided to wait on that. <laughs> so anyways, I'm taking some of this boxwood greenery, I think that's what it's called. And anyways, there's a gap between the welcome sign and the tray and I'm just going to start filling in that gap with the greenery and then some of this um, I believe it's Heather lavender lavender that's what it is um, I think <laughs> it's those beautiful purple uh, picks from the Dollar Tree. They're like my all-time favorite from the Dollar Tree. Anyway, that's the one I used. And then there I go. I am hot gluing my bow to the top. And then because you could see kind of, yeah, see right there, you could kind of see where I hot glued it. I didn't really care for it that much. So I just took some of the greenery and some of the floral and I'm just going to uh, glue it up on the top just to cover where it was glued, where the ribbon was glued. <laughs> And just adding some more of those purple flowers that I love so, so much from the Dollar Tree. And that's it for this one. I love this piece. I still have it on my table, my TV table. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this one. So this next one was a look for less and I love how it came out. So I took the square planks from the Dollar Tree and I'm only gonna use two of them. And then I have some of these bamboo sticks from 
Amazon. They'll be linked in my Amazon store down below. And I'm just going to cut them to the size that I want. Then I take a little bit of wood glue and a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to glue them to the outside of the wooden plank. And then I'm going to do the same with the top part. So after doing four of them, I realized that wasn't going to be enough to keep it sturdy. So I did cut four more pieces of those bamboo sticks for the opposite corner. So there's two on each corner. I hope that makes sense. And then I am taking this thicker piece of wood from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue that to the top and then one of these round knobs or like half beads, I think that's what they are. So <laughs> then I'm taking some smaller beads and I'm just gluing them in the corners just to give it a little more stability. And then I take some of the shorter pieces of those bamboo sticks and I'm just going to go across on the top and the bottom uh, just again for some more stability. Then once I've got them all glued into place, I am going to take some of my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink, and I am going to paint the entire lantern. Then I'm gonna take the white and one of those little chippy brushes from the Dollar Tree, and I am going over everything with the white. Then I'm going to take some of these fairy lights I got from On For You. It's a, a company that reached out to me a long time ago. And I love these things. And I am going to have to get some more shortly because I've been using them all year long. <laughs> so anyways, I, um, I'm not sure what that actually 16 was. But anyway... <laughs> I think that's the amount of lights that come in the package. So anyways, I am just stuffing them into one of the vases from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to take the um, battery pack and I'm going to hot glue it to the top of the lantern so that it's not seen at all. Then I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom of the glass. Now I know it's not gonna hold that great, but um, actually, you know, I've had it out since I made it and it's still hanging in there. So I did something right with it. But anyway, now I'm gonna take more of this box wood and I'm going around the bottom of the lantern and then I take a few pieces, four pieces to be exact, and I'm going to glue them going up the side of the lantern. 
Then I'm just going to add some to the top of the lantern. And that's it. I am so in love with this piece. It's probably one of my all-time favorites. Let me know what you think. For this next project, I'm taking some of the big stir sticks I get from Home Depot, I believe. So I took, um, I'm trying to think, one, two, three, four, maybe like nine or ten. I don't know. You guys can count them, though. <laughs> but anyways, and I alternated like where the handle is on either side. And then I'm hot, I mean, I'm wood gluing all of the pieces together. And then I'm going to take some wood glue and some hot glue and take some of the smaller stir sticks and hold, use those as braces for the back. Then I got these um, rub on transfers from Amazon. They're gorgeous, guys. I love them. They'll be in my store um, in the description box. And so I'm just cutting out whatever pieces I'm going to want to use to create this gorgeous wall hanging. Now, once I decide where I'm gonna put it, I just pull the backing paper off, lay it down on the stir sticks, which I did not do anything to. I didn't paint them. I didn't stain them, nothing. I just left them natural and I love this. So the um, rub-on transfers are super easy to use. Um, this particular one anyway. Um, some of them can be difficult, but I thought this one was very, very easy. So I just laid everything right down and just scratched away at it <laughs> then I took the little craft blade from the Dollar Tree and just where the um, like the spaces were from the handles I just cut that area um, yeah that was it I didn't go and cut the whole thing so I'm just measuring the back and deciding where I'm going to put this D hook. And once I get that screwed in, that's pretty much it. Look at how stunning this is. I love this piece so, so much. Let me know what you guys think. No one else makes me feel this way. So for this next project, I'm going to take six of those um, decor block pieces and I was having a hard time getting the paper off. So I just um, wet it and put some paper towels down and let it sit. Then I took two of these shelves, the squ little square ones, and I filled the holes. They came two in a package. I filled the holes and then I sanded everything down. Now, I tried really hard to get all of the paper off, but some of it just, like this came off super easy. Some of it did not. So, I took the shelves and the white Waverly chalk paint, and I color, I painted <laughs> the shelves with that. Then I'm taking some hot glue and some wood glue, and I'm gonna glue the pieces together. I did stagger them, so um, the center was higher up than the others. See, so you can see right there. So anyways, I did that with both. Then I took the agave from Waverly, and I painted both of the pieces that I put together with the agave and I dry brush the agave on the white shelves and then the white on the agave. Then I took this white um, contact paper I got from Walmart and I covered the back because some of that paper just was not coming off. Then I'm just using my finger sander to get all of the excess contact paper off. 
Now I have some of these um, hangers that I don't even remember where I got them. I might have even gotten them off another project. But anyways, I'm going to use two of them, one on each. And then let's see, what do I do next? Because it's been a hot minute since I've done this. So, okay, so I have the L brackets that I'm using for the shelf. And I am going to, I do use some glue as well as the screws because I don't want them to come off. And I'm going to glue the shelf and screw the shelf onto this back piece here. And here's where I'm kind of hot gluing everything just to kind of reinforce it. Um, and I, of course, only do the bottom. Then I'm going to take some of this white like macrame rope stuff and I'm just going around the front of the piece and I'm so you'll see I hot glue it on the side and then I bring it down the side and then back up the side and across the front again. You know, I, I probably am not making any sense at all, but you'll see. You can see right here what I'm doing. So I'll just let you watch this part. How's that? Oh, I guess that was pretty quick. So I got these um, sand dollars and starfish from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to hot glue that onto the rope that I put. On there and then I just added my candles and some more shells and that's it I think these came out so pretty let me know what you think so I found this picture at Goodwill and I just sanded it all down to get the shiny off mostly and now I'm just wiping it all down to make sure I have all of the dust off it then I'm going to take my Waverly white chalk paint and give it two coats. Now I got this paper from my Victorian heart. I love this store. I will make sure that it's linked in my description box down below. They have so much beautiful stuff, papers, rice papers, decoupage paper, um, transfers iod transfers stamps like everything everything you can imagine so um and super sweet the owner is so so sweet so i just took this and i used some mod podge and i went over the first i put it down and it's rice paper so it's not wrinkly like you get from like tissue paper or a napkin and then I just took some of the Mod Podge and went over the entire thing. Then I have this bag filled with lace from um, the Goodwill as well. So I just cut a bunch of pieces the same length and then I just tied it together and I placed it right on the center of this picture it's beautiful then I took just one white rose and a brooch from totally dazzled I put the brooch in the center I hot glued the rose to the center of the bow added some greenery underneath and that's it this is so beautiful I love it so so much let me know what you guys think of this one for this next project, oh my good grief, I printed out this paper that I got off of um, Creative Fabrica. If you haven't checked them out, I'll leave the link down below. They're awesome. They have so many different images. It's insane. Then I have this um, sign that I got from Michaels and I painted it 
in the, I believe it's Nantucket blue. And I printed this image off on cardstock, so it's thick, not like tissue paper, didn't wrinkle, no problems at all. So I'm using the Mod Podge and I am just placing it all down. Now I cut the image so that the space on the sign showed. Then I got some of this like glittery, it's, they called it coral at the Dollar Tree. So that's what I'm using it for. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hot glue the coral and the little anchor that I painted in the same Nantucket blue. And um, then I'm taking some small shells that I got from Amazon and that's it for this one. Love, love, love it. Let me know what you guys think. Now I have this um, blank, this wood blank that I did get from Michaels and it's pretty good size. So I took some washi tape and I just made some spaces on it. Yeah. So <laughs> then I'm taking some red, um, the oh, terracotta paint. So one of them was snowball. Um, I'm trying to think red clay was the red one and the blue is ocean cavern. And I love all three of these colors. They're amazing. So once I got it all painted, I took the brushes that I hadn't cleaned yet and I just dry brushed with the white and the blue and the red all over the sign. Then I used my Cricut and I cut out the words for uh, the sign that I wanted. And um, yeah, so it says, God bless America, my home sweet home. And then there's some stars at the bottom. Now the stars weren't showing up very well because of the fact that they were white <laughs> and I put them on white. So what I did was I ended up tracing everything, pulling it off, pulling off the vinyl. And then I just took a Sharpie, a black Sharpie, and I colored in where the vinyl was. I was, I was so upset when I realized that I had kind of messed up by printing it or cutting it on white vinyl, but I was able to save it and I think it came out so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think. Now I'm taking some of these palettes from the Dollar Tree, I took four of them, and I'm just going to hot glue and wood glue all four of them together. Then I'm going to take the same colors, the terracotta colors, and I'm making myself a flag. I love how this one came out too, it's so pretty. So I'm just taking some of the twine, the red and the natural and the blue and the natural, and I just tied a couple knots, one on each side and twisted it around. And that's what I used for my hanger. And then I have these stars. They're not wood. I don't know what the material is, but I got them from Michael's. They were from a Christmas grab bag and I just placed one on the blue and I love it. I think it's beautiful. Let me know what you think. I got these three boxes from Hobby Lobby and I painted them all in, I want to say it was Italian sage. I'm sorry, it's been a long time. Um, but anyway, so then I used these rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree. These are a little more difficult to get off and onto your project, but you know, you just, 
stay, you stick with it and, and it works itself out. <laughs> so I just um, placed it all over these boxes and then I used some hot glue and some E6000 for those white handles which I got from Hobby Lobby as well. Then I took some greenery from the Dollar Tree and the purple flowers came from Walmart. They came in a bundle um, with a lot of other different flowers. And um, yeah, so I just filled these three boxes with these purple flowers and I think it came out so stunning. I love this piece. Let me know what you guys think of this one. For this next project, I have these two arched windows I got from Hobby Lobby. They were like 90% off. And then I took two um, of my favorite scriptures and I printed them out on cardstock and I just ripped the edges and then used some ink to um, darken the edge, make it look older and worn. And I painted the arch windows, sorry, with um, mineral chalk paint in the center. And I went up the side a little bit uh, because it was difficult to not get it everywhere and I did so um, anyway so I'm taking this beautiful ribbon that I got from Michaels at 90% off it is a Christmas ribbon and I'm using that and some of this um, like lace it's not lace we're gonna call it lace because I don't know what else to call it from the Dollar Tree and I just layered it and did the awareness ribbon, cinched it in the center, and wrapped some uh, jute around the whole bow. And that's how I tied it together. And oh, and I, of course, covered the jute in the center and dovetailed the ends. And then I hot glued the ends down a little bit so that they weren't like all flopping around. But here they are. I think they're so beautiful. I love these scriptures. Let me know what you guys think. I wanted to let you know I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I also have a Buy Me a Coffee page if you're interested in supporting my channel. Stop on by and say, hey, I would love to hear from you. For this next project, I'm taking four of the four by four uh, picture frames from the Dollar Tree and some of the Stemperia uh, paper that I got from Amazon. It will be in my storefront. I'm chas chasing, I'm tracing the paper and I'm going to add it to all of the picture frames. Then I am going to take all of these colors and I am going to paint the picture frames. And I'm trying to blend all the colors together. I don't know if I did a good job or not. I think in the end it came out beautiful, but I don't know if I, I'm far from an artist, so I don't know if I did it right or not. But like I said, it all came out gorgeous in the end. Once I got everything where I thought I wanted it, I'm just doing a dry brushing of some of the colors. I'm kind of mixing them and going around to, I don't know, just try to blend it some more. And that's kind of what it looks like. So I do that with all four of the frames. Then I am taking some of these letters and a um, marker from Arteza. I got this picture from Hobby Lobby, which was on clearance for 90% off, and I painted it in mineral with two coats. Then I'm hot gluing the letters 
and it's going to read a C to shining C and then I am going to hmm what am I gonna do <laughs> going a little too fast here okay so now I have one of the um, the anchors from the Dollar Tree that I painted in the night sky I believe it is and then I had the um, sand dollar and the starfish and a regular shell big shell so I'm gluing all of those together and then I am going to just take the anchor and add that. Then I am taking all of those colors and I'm just dry brushing all over this sign once it was dry. Once that's all dry, I'm going to take the four picture frames and I'm going to hot glue them right on top. I swear that I will stay here with you. Then I'm gonna take this ribbon that I also got at Hobby Lobby and it's just a blue and then the blue stripe. It's so beautiful together, I love it. So, um, oh, and then the star, yeah, the starfish one. Oh, so gorgeous. So anyway, I found the center and then I'm just going to do the awareness ribbon and pinch it in the center. I kind of, if you push it down when you have the wire ribbon, it just kind of sits there where it's supposed to. So <laughs> then I got some of the jute and I, uh, tied it in the center. Now I'm doing all of the dovetailing and I did want to separate the ribbon but not too much and then of course I take a piece that I can hot glue in the center to cover the jute and then I am going to stick this right onto this beautiful picture. I swear that I will stay here with you. And then, of course, I will tack down all of the tails so they're not flopping all around. You know, you know how it goes with me. This is, this is how I roll. <laughs> and that's it for this one. I am so in love with this piece. I don't know, uh, you know me with nautical, I guess, and or with coastal, I should say. Let me know what you guys think. So for this next project, I have two pieces of wood, and I'm sorry I don't have the measurements, but I can always add them below. I cut the two pieces of wood, and I painted it on with baby wipes. So it was almost like a stain kind of thing. Then I'm taking some of the E6000 and I have some of these, um, what are those called? Pegboards from the Dollar Tree when they were all the rage. <laughs> and anyway, I am gluing two sets of two and then I'm gonna glue them together as well. And then I have two thinner, longer pieces that I'm going to glue together twice. So the wood that I have is going to have uh, these this Lazy Susan thing on it, sorry. So I screwed in the Lazy Susan, I measured it, screwed in the Lazy Susan, and now I am going to put the other piece right on top. Now, in all honesty, this didn't really come out perfect, but for my first time, I did pretty good, I think. So, <laughs> um, and I did have some help, <laughs> as you can see with the hands there. But um, anyway, so now I'm taking this trim that I got 
it's just a simple trim piece and I am going to cut it at 45 degrees and I'm going to add it just to the top piece of the wood just to give it a little bit more of a decorative look to it but not really I mean it's like I said it's kind of simple but anyway <laughs> So I did that all the way around and now I'm going to take my one of my sets of four and one of my sets of two and I'm going to glue them together. Um, I'm trying to, I'm sorry, it's been a while. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to take some of the E6000 and I'm going to attach the two thinner pieces on either side of the board. Then I took a dowel and kind of put it on the outside to give it a little more stability. So I painted it black just so that it will blend in. So I have a rectangle shape piece on the Boards. You'll understand everything as I show you but so I have all of these accessories and I'm just using the accessories where I feel as though I need them and of course I overbought because you know that's what I do so <laughs> um, but I did use quite a bit of them there's so many different accessories for these pegboards so if you can still find them um you should so here it is i have this piece that came with it and i just used some hooks from the office supplies there's my unicorn spit um i have my terracotta paints my inks for my um resin and paint brushes and just everything there it is i absolutely love it let me know what you think so i found this cabinet from like it was a bathroom cabinet on the side of the road and i grabbed it and i took the two doors off cleaned them all up and I took the handles off and I'm filling all of the holes in. Then I used the Rust-Oleum Linen White and I painted both doors with two coats. And now I am just taking my finger sander and going around, I wanted to make it look a little worn. So I did that with both doors. Now, once I got all of the dust cleaned off, I am taking some of my mineral chalk paint and I'm just going around the inside of that like design, just that one line as you can see there. And then I took uh, a page out of Teresa B's book and I took my tissue paper and I um, taped it to some cardstock and printed on the tissue paper. I got these um, designs from Creative Fabrica. So it, it came out so beautiful. I tore the edges, didn't want any sharp edges, and I just Mod Podged all over it. And then I took some antique wax and I just covered the door with the antique wax. Then I'm just taking some of the fall uh, leaves and greenery or not really greenery. They're not very green, are they? Um, anyways, and some pumpkins and I am just going to embellish both doors.
Once I finished with all of the embellishing, I am taking some of this green ribbon. I do believe I got this from um, the Dollar Tree. So I am just taking two pieces and I do the awareness ribbon and I kind of squish it down because it makes it stay put. And then I'm just taking the jute and I'm going to uh, tie them both in the center and then cover it with a piece of ribbon. And that's it. These are so beautiful. I love them so much. Let me know what you think. So I have some of these mason jars from Woodpecker's Crafts and I painted them with my plaster chalk paint and then I did the silver on top. Now I do fix the top. Don't mind Skylar up there. She was just chilling with me. Um, and yes, don't worry. I bleach the island before I cook on it. <laughs> anyway, so I have these words that I cut out using my Cricut and I I cut out good food good meat good gosh let's eat <laughs> I thought that was fun so anyway I am just going to add those words to the mason jars that I um painted earlier now if you notice the silver which is supposed to be like the cover uh, was not down far enough so I just took some more silver and I uh, painted it so that it actually looks right then I'm just taking some of my um, jute cording that I get from Amazon that'll be in my storefront um, the link will be down below and I just wrap it around twice on all three of these mason jars then I am going to take some more of the jute I use the jute with that has like the cream color and the natural color from the Dollar Tree and I'm making three of those finger bows now the larger one I put in the center I put one on the right side and one on the left of the smaller ones now I have this sign from uh, Hobby Lobby it was on clearance and I am taking my truffle paint and I go over a couple of times with that then I'm taking some more of the plaster and doing a dry brushing along the edges and then I just do the entire piece once that's all dry, I'm hot gluing my mason jars. And then I found that little cutting board at the Target dollar spot. It was a dollar. And so I'm painting it all, but I didn't want to get the, like the grooves. I didn't want to paint those. So I was trying to do it very carefully. <laughs> um, and I think I did pretty good. So I guess I didn't glue it down, but I'm doing it now. So I put the cent the big one in the center and then I'm going to put the two smaller ones on either side, kind of staggered. And then what do I do next? I have some or I had some of these rub-on transfers. They're the farmhouse ones. I got them from Sarah from Sunflowers and DIYing. She sent those to me. She was sweet, sweet enough to do that for me because I could not find them here. So I used some of those on the cutting board as well as the rolling pin. And then once I decide how I want everything to lay out, I'm going to hot glue them into place. And then I also used, now this one, mm, I don't know, I don't know. Um, the 
transfers that I used in that space at the bottom there, they didn't really show very well because of the truffle color that I painted it. But when you're looking at it like in person, you can see it better. So anyways, I'm taking some more of that twine with the um, tan and the natural. And I just made a bow to sit right there where the transfers are. And I think this came out so adorable. I love it. And I haven't hung it up yet in my kitchen, but I'm going to. Let me know what you guys think. So this piece I got from Hobby Lobby and the um, transfer that I'll be using came from Amazon and don't mind Nico's cute little head. <laughs> so I am taking this and I'm using some of my white Waverly chalk paint going over it very heavily with it. Then I took this beautiful red barn transfer and oh my goodness, I love this piece so, so much. It's so beautiful. Wait till you see it. Ah, if you haven't seen it already, you're gonna just die anyway. <laughs> so I'm just going to work on getting this transfer onto this piece of painted wood. Then I took the weather vane and put it on there and this beautiful red truck. Oh my goodness, this piece is so beautiful. I love it so, so much. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, I can't, I can't even. And we're not even done yet. Oh. Give me all your love. Give me all your love. Give me love. Once I got that fresh and local sign down, I am taking some of the red and black buffalo check ribbon, and then I take some of the white and black buffalo check ribbon, and I'm gonna make a beautiful bow for this piece. No one else makes me feel this way. Once I get the bow down, I just like crinkle up the tails a little bit and just tack them down. And that's it. But look at how gorgeous this is. Oh my goodness. I love this so, so much. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, this next one is kind of a two for one kind of thing. So I have 
these two beautiful rice papers from my Victorian heart and some of these smaller stir sticks from Home Depot. And I'm just doing the back and forth staggering, you know, putting the handles on one side and then the other. And I'm going to use some wood glue and some tape and I'm just going to do two pieces at a time. And yeah, so I'm just going to glue all of these paint sticks together. Then I will take the tape off and I'm going to repeat the process with, I believe I did 10, but it could have been 12. I'm sorry, I can't remember. <laughs> I think it was 12, but anyway. So then I'm gonna take three of the painter sticks and I'm going to use some hot glue and some wood glue and I'm going to glue the back. Now, if you notice, it's not long enough for the bottom pieces. So I <laughs> don't mind Nico. Oh, there's Skylar too. So I took I glued the three, staggered this middle one down to the bottom, and then I cut the I cut another one up to extend the pieces in the back. Oi. Anyway, they're all glued together. How's that? <laughs> now I'm taking these gorgeous pieces from my Victorian heart. And I just wet the edges because I wanted to tear them and not cut them. Now I have one of these that I'm going to, I, I tried to do the whole use the paint for staining thing. Yeah, I wasn't any good at it. <laughs> I think I used it, I think it was too dark. I don't think I put enough water in. But anyway, so... <laughs> I got it stained anyway. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take this darker, it's got like a darker edging and the bow on the front is darker. And I'm Mod Podging that for one first onto the dark piece. So, and like I said, these like, it's thicker so it doesn't tear like, I mean, you still have to be careful and you don't wanna like goop on the Mod Podge but it's okay if it's a little bit thicker than you would use for like tissue paper. So the second one I painted in the white Waverly chalk paint as you can see and I am going to do the same thing. I'm just going to Mod Podge this picture right on to all of these painter sticks. So now the dark one is dry and I'm letting the white one dry. I'm going to take some more of that jute cording that I get from Amazon and I'm going around this entire picture. It just felt like it needed something else. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going all the way around. Then I took one of the little mini... Um, oh, what am I trying to say? The wreaths, there we go. From, you know, the mini trees that they have at Hobby Lobby and all the little mini ornaments. That's where I got those wreaths and these snowflakes. So I put the wreath on the house door and then I am just going to take some more of these snowflakes and I'm just going to add them around the picture just to give it a little extra something. And then I did burn off all the little hairs on the cording that went around the edge. Then I'm just gonna take another piece of that cording and I am going to hot glue it to the back, which will act as the hanger. Now I have this, it's some kind of an edging 
from a Hobby Lobby. I thought it was beautiful. It's very sparkly and just very wintry and gorgeous. So I took that and I went all around the picture, all around the edge of the picture with this piece. And I, oh, this is, both of these are just gorgeous, but this one is just kind of a step above. <laughs> so anyhow, I have this ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and it has little red barns on it. I thought it was perfect. So I'm using that along with some red, just solid red ribbon. And I'm going to just make that awareness ribbon and cut off the edges or cut off the ends and then dovetail the oh my goodness the bow okay <laughs> and then I'm hot gluing it right to the corner and then I took a snowflake and I just added that to the center now I'm taking this diamond dust that I use from Michaels all the time and I'm taking the Mod Podge and I'm going wherever I could see that there was snow in the picture. I tried to add some of the diamond dust just to make it sparkle. And I even added some to the tree. And then I took some paper and just kind of pushed it down because, you know, sometimes that's sharp. <laughs> didn't want to hurt myself but anyway I just tapped off the edge and that was it look at how beautiful these came out I love them both so so much let me know what you think I want to share with you so because it's a little difficult I'm just going to say that a family member uh, started their own candle business and they sell on Etsy and I just wanted to share with you in case you were interested. No pressure, this isn't sponsored, none of that stuff. I just wanted to share with you guys because I think they're amazing. So they are called Salt Box Candle Company, okay? So this one is called a Sweater Weather. So I wanted to show you the uh, label and their branding super cute and it says hand poured soy wax candle so again this one is called sweater weather I have already burned the apple pie and the apple cider donut and there was an O, oh, Falling Leaves. They were all amazing. They have super great throw. So I wanted to share that with you as well. This sweater weather I saved for last because it's my favorite. I think it smells amazing. It almost has like a, like a minty smell to it. Like a hint of mint. But anyways, it's gonna be amazing. So. Like I said, really great throw. And also I wanted to share with you, I saved the apple pie because I wanted to show you how it burns, okay? Check this out. Like nothing left, okay? So you are getting your money's worth when you get these candles. I ordered, like I said, apple pie, falling leaves, uh, apple cider donuts, and sweater weather. So I went on Etsy to see if they released their Christmas stuff yet, and they have. So I ordered more. <laughs> I have a little bit of an obsession now. Um, so anyways, this one is balsam fir. Now they changed the size of the candle, uh, the jar, sorry. 
So this one is taller, but this one is bigger around. So I think overall you're getting the same amount. It's just a different shape. So, mm, smells amazing. I can't wait. Really gets me into the Christmas spirit. So, balsam fir, home for Christmas. Now this one has kind of like a cinnamony smell, almost like the Yankee Candle Home Sweet Home, but this is just called Home for Christmas. And then I got uh, Salt Box Christmas. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Oh, this one just smells amazing. Oh, I can't, I can't wait. Um, and then gingerbread. Who doesn't love some gingerbread? <laughs> mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, and then the last one I got is winter morning. Oh. So, Oh, this is just, it's so hard to explain, but trust me guys, these smell so great. And the throw is amazing. I can burn one and it fills my whole living room kitchen area. So I'm gonna have their uh, Etsy store linked in my description box down below. Go check them out. I promise you won't be disappointed. And again, it's Saltbox Candle Company, and that is their logo. Now let's get back to the crafts. So for this next project, I have some of these um, snowflakes that I got from Amazon. The ice skates came from the Target dollar spot and the picture came from Hobby Lobby on clearance. So I was trying to come up with a color, couldn't find anything I liked, so I made that green. Now I'm taking the ice skates and I'm just using a couple of the snowflakes and hot gluing them to the side of the ice skates. I swear that I was then I took some of these little white berries that came off one of the picks from the Dollar Tree and I'm just adding them on the snowflakes as well. Once that picture is dry, I am going to figure out how I want to place the ice skates and then I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to hot glue them right in place. Then I just took the jute that was connecting the two and I wanted to just tack it up so that it kind of looked like it was hanging, although I wasn't sure what it was going to be hanging from, <laughs> um, but you'll see later on. <laughs> so then I take some more of those Buffalo Check uh, snowflakes that I got from Amazon and I am just going to take a few out and place them sporadically around the picture. Then I'm taking some of this frosted greenery from the Dollar Tree and I am just going to add a bunch to the top until I like the way it looks. And then I take some of the frosted berries, they come in a bag, and I took the wires off and I just hot glued those into place and that's it. Look at how beautiful this is. I love it so much. Let me know what you think. So I have another one of these signs that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby that had like the anchor. 
I took the hangers off and I am taking my little chippy brush with some white chalk paint. Then I used my Cricut to cut out the words Winter Wonderland. I didn't center them, so I had to kind of do it manually. <laughs> so I put down the Wonderland and then added Winter on top. Now I have these gloves that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue one of them down and then place the other one on top of it at a different angle as you can see here. Then I'm going to take some of these mini pine picks and I cut them down and I'm just adding them kind of sporadically like in the gloves, behind the gloves, like just kind of everywhere um, until I like the way it looks. And then I take one of those candle ring things and they have some points, no, not points out of you, holly uh, leaves. So I am just cutting some of those off and again, I am just going to place them here and there until I like the way it looks. Then I'm going to take some white berries from that same candle ring thing and I am going to hot glue them kind of all around. Voila, see that? <laughs> Um, and then I just start adding some of the white snowflakes that, again, I got from Hobby Lobby in their mini tree section. And there's two different sizes. These are the bigger ones. And then I'm going to use some of the smaller ones as well. And then I'm going to take one of these black and white buffalo check ribbons from the Dollar Tree. I think they came six or eight in a pack. And I'm just going to hot glue that right in this spot. And I did use a pine cone from that ring as well. But look at how beautiful. I absolutely love this. And you can keep it up right through the winter season. Let me know what you guys think. So I have these candle holders and these little vases from the Dollar Tree and I cleaned them all up and then I took some E6000 and some hot glue and I glued one of the vases into the candle holder and I'm going to do that two times. <laughs> And I just cleaned everything up and I got this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It's got little snowflakes on it. I thought it was super cute, but just know that once the winter season is over, you can take this ribbon off as long as you don't put too much glue on and um, you can use these lanterns year round. Uh, just switch out the ribbon and boom, you have a new season. <laughs> so I wrapped them around where they were attached and then I took more of the ribbon and I am making two bows, one for each. I dovetailed the ends and I covered the jute in the center and then I will hot glue it right where the ribbon meets to kind of hide that point. And I'm going to take this candle pack I got from Michael's. It was 90% off, so I spent like three bucks on it. Yeah. And then I'm taking more of that diamond dust from Michael's and I'm just adding some to the bottom to look like snow, adding the little candles, and that's it. How adorable are these? Let me know what you think. So this one, I had the wood blank from Michael's and I missed, I 
lost the footage of me painting it. Oh my goodness, and I can't talk. I used the Folk Art One paint in aged pine. I used it for the wood piece as well as the little trees. Then I painted over everything with the white and I covered the trees in the white and the little square tiles that I'm using in the green and then the white. Then I peeled the Christmas vinyl off, revealing the green. Then I'm taking the letters Mary, that spell out Mary, sorry. I put those on the tiles and then I am gluing those to the trees. And now I'm taking some hot glue and wood glue and I am gluing the trees to the board just above where it says Christmas. And now I am caught up with the video, finally. <laughs> Then I'm just going to take some greenery and some red berries and a bow and I'm going to embellish right in between the trees and the word Christmas. Give me all your love. Give me all your love. Then I'm taking some of the smaller red berries. I'm gonna pull five off and I'm gonna hot glue them to the very top of each of the trees. And once I've got those done, that's it. Look at how stinking cute this is. Oh, I love this sign. Let me know what you guys think. For my last piece, I have this chalkboard decor piece from the Target Dollar Spot, and I have these stars from Woodpecker's Crafts. I'm going to take six of the stars and the brushed gold, I painted them all, and then I am using my Cricut to spell out Jesus and then is born. And then on the stars, I am going to put all the letters to spell Christ. Then I had to kind of angle them because there wasn't enough room on the board, but I think it came out stunning anyway. So I hot glued and wood glued them all into place. Then I'm taking these gold like poinsettias from the Dollar Tree and all of the leaves that come with it. I cut the leaves all apart and I'm going to hot glue them to the back of some of the poinsettias. And then I am going to hot glue the poinsettias to the sides of the stars. Then I have this beautiful ribbon I got from Michaels. It's absolutely gorgeous, but it makes a mess with all of the glitter. So I made the bow like I usually do and hot glued it to the top of the top star. And that's it for this one. How gorgeous is this piece? Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I want to thank you for all of your love and support and for an amazing 2022. I so look forward to 2023 and all it will bring. And until then, I will see you next time. Give me love, give me all your love.